Well, hello again, curl friends and guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. And if this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much. I hope you will subscribe and uh, hit that little bell next to the subscription button so that you will get updates every time I upload a video. And if you are a faithful subscriber, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Also, uh, shout out to everybody that's been giving me tips and all that kind of stuff on the frizz. You know, the frizz, the thing that happens to us when our hair takes on humidity. Anyway, in this video, I want to talk to you about uh, some of the tips and stuff that I took, some of the advice that I took from some of the people that have been following my channel that sent me little notes and said, try this or try that. I want to let you know what I tried. Okay. I was not in the habit of refreshing my hair every night. I tried to keep my hair um, in twist for three or three days or so after I wash it. And then I take it out and I try to wear it out for a couple of days uh, before I wash it again. So I usually wash my hair once a week. The reason I have to wash my hair once a week is because I have to use heavy creams and butters in my hair. And by the time I get to day seven or eight, my scalp is starting to itch a little bit. I may be able to um, uh, combat the itch if I use like a peppermint oil with olive oil or something like that, massage it into my scalp. But that only usually lasts me about a day or so. So I've decided to try to start moisturizing my hair every night. I started last night. Okay. So what I did was I took a mixture of aloe vera juice and water. I left my hair in the twist, right? I didn't take them all out. I left it in the twist. Um, I dampened my hair, kind of, I let the water sit there for a minute. And then I just took some Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Cream and rubbed it on my hands and just, you know, rubbed it through my braids and squoze it into my braids. And then another curl friend had suggested that I try gel, okay, to try to combat the frizz. <laughs> I'm desperate. I'm desperate. So anyway, boom, I got this and I also took it, rubbed it in my hands, rubbed it through my hair. And of course it felt dry again this morning and I thought... So anyway, I went in the shower and I didn't even use a shower cap because uh, I, I'm in an RV right now and the water pressure is not so that it's going to shoot out and wet my hair. So anyway, I just figured, well, I'll stand in the shower and um, I'll let the steam moisturize it again, which it did. And then when I came out of the shower, <laughs> I had more frizz. Oh, so... <laughs> so I thought, let's try this again. So what I did was, it's still frizzy. I mean, you know, I still have definition, as you can see, right? And it just may just be my hair. When I did my big chop, I did not go all the way down to my scalp, right? I, I had 12 inches of hair on my head. Six of that was new growth. Um, well, I was a year into it. And then the last six inches was processed hair, which I cut off. Now, it could be that the hair I did not cut off has some damage to it. Maybe that's why I got so much frizz. I don't know. But anyway, what I did this morning, the ones that were like really, really frizzy. I'm sorry, I'm looking over here because I have a mirror over here. Um, I just dampened them again, took some Eco Styler gel, and just, these are actually spirals. They're not twists, right? It was just quicker to just spiral them. So anyhow, this is how it looks. My hair feels... Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. I'm still trying to learn it. I just wanted to let my friends out there know that I, boom, okay, I got this. And I'm going to, I'm going to consider trying to moisturize it every, every night. I don't want to get into hygro fatigue, right? I don't want my hair to uh, expand and contract and expand and contract till it just starts snapping and breaking. So, I don't want to do that either, but I did want to give you an update on the frizz and what I'm trying to do to combat it, and I will let you know as I continue to do it 
how it goes. Now, maybe I didn't give it a fair shot because I did get in the shower. So, I don't know. But when I, when I took it out, it still looked a little frizzy to me. So, that might just be my hair texture. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for coming by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please recommend my channel to other people. Please give me a thumbs up. If you've been following me, you have to remember, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out, okay? I'd like to grow my channel. I'd like to get to the thousand mark. Just because I'd like to get to the thousand mark. I'm not giving anything to do this, okay? I'm just really taking my own time to do this. So anyway, thank you so much, and I will see you the next time you stop by.